Hello, my name is Jiří Šimonek, the CFD support company co-founder, and I would like to introduce you features of the brand new Turbo Machinery CFD 1710, released in October 2017. At first, I will briefly talk about the general CFD software changes, then about new general CFD features, the new post-processing features, changes in the graphical user interface and the last section will be dedicated to brand new tutorials that come alongside the TCFD 1710. CFD software changes. We have used the newest update of OpenFORM Dev as a computational core of the Turbo Machinery CFD. It corresponds with the newest OpenFORM 5. The OpenFORM Dev is continuously maintained by the OpenFOAM Foundation. And besides that, the Turbo Machinery CFD 1710 has been compiled together with the newest Paraview version 541, which is used as a graphic user interface for preprocessing, case setup and post-processing. New general CFD features. For the version 1710, it is possible to define multiple general inlets and outlets in one case for one machine. The next very useful feature for transient simulations are transient boundary conditions. They are set from the CSV file, the comma separated values, in a time value format. And they can vary in time. The great innovation is also a possibility to use results from the previous simulation as an initial condition TCFD now works also with non-SI dimensions. In the case setup and also in results and plots in the final report, you can now choose units you like to work with. New is also the possibility to take roughness of walls into account. And the last novelty is a possibility to enable LES or DES turbulence models for transient simulations. New post-processing features. They are new defaults for post-processing setup. They save time in the case setup phase. There is a predefined setup for blade-to-blade -blade views in a mid-span that works automatically when hub and shroud are properly defined. And also predefined setup for meridional averages which works automatically when the rotating region is properly defined. There is a new blade-to-blade -blade view ordering switch. You can now distinguish whether the order of figures is according to spans or according to speed line points. The new quantity, which is evaluated and plotted in the report, the net positive section head, is available for simulation including cavitation. There is also a possibility to enlarge figures in the report on click. Plots of variables evaluated on interfaces are now splitted, like angles, pressure, velocities, and you can browse them interactively in the report. The brand new plot of the total pressure per interfaces is available. Shows how the total pressure is changing over the interfaces. Names of interfaces between which is the integral value evaluated is now available in the report. This makes the report more clear. Changes in the graphical user interface. The word that most closely describes the change that the GUI has gone through is intuitiveness. The graphic user interface is much more synoptic now. There have been done changes in the order of the graphic user interface elements. You can now set up the case in a step-by-step -step manner. The first comes the most important setup. Highest priority first. The new graphical user interface comes with scrolling resistant combo boxes. So you can now scroll over all the GUI elements without fear of unwanted change of case setup. And the last graphic user interface innovation is show internal point feature. 
you can now easily and quickly find and set the coordinates of the internal point in the mesh. There are two new tutorials. The first one is called Radial Pump with Casing and it shows how to make a proper setup of the machine with leakage when the impeller is located inside the casing and hence there are small gaps between the impeller and casing. And the second one is called Manifold multi inlet Transient and it shows how to handle with the more than one general inlet and outlet and also shows how to set up the transient boundary conditions. Those were the key features introduced in the newest Turbo Machinery CFD 1710. Please take a look on other videos. There are video tutorials as well as the features of the previous TCFD versions which are also included in the TCFD 1710. Feel free to contact us in case you are interested in using the new Turbo Machinery CFD. We will gladly answer all your additional questions or give a one month trial version. Thank you for watching this video.